And with that, let's now dip into some live visuals coming in from Hong Kong, where the chief executive of Hong Kong, Carrie Lam, is addressing a press conference with regards to the coronavirus. Let's listen. elaborate. Currently, we have the airport as well as the West Kowloon Station being covered by the scheme. From now on, we are going to extend it to three other piers. That is the Twin Moon Pier, the China Hong Kong China Ferry Pier, as well as the uh, Hong Kong Macau Terminal. So it will cover. It will also cover the um, port area of the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge as well. Quite a large number of ports are involved, so we may not be able to complete the preparatory process for implementing the health decoration scheme. We'll try to do it as much as possible, and we will have a pilot scheme concerning an electronic decoration system. And we'll make it clear that for people who come in and if they fail to declare or if they are uh, dishonest in the decoration, they will be subject to a penalty. Maximum will be $5,000 fine and six months imprisonment. The third measurement, uh, we will step up the thermometer uh, body temperature control. Uh, this is ongoing, but it can be stepped up when necessary. And we will also test for body temperature for those exiting Hong Kong as well. This will take time to implement. We will uh, first uh, give priority to uh, Shenzhen, uh, Macau, and Zhuhai. And also on travel health measures earlier in the Security Bureau websites and on the information website, we have uh, given a notice uh, regarding the Wuhan uh, disease, uh, telling people uh, not to go to Wuhan City. Today, we will update this proposal. Uh, the whole Hubei province uh, will be uh, a place that people should not go to. The Department of Health will closely monitor and update as necessary. Another measure, I believe, is the sixth one. We will suspend all uh, visits for uh, cultural and sports acti activities within the mainland that are sponsored by the SAL government. And then we will lower the risk of uh, the disease spreading in Hong Kong. We will cancel um, mega events or major events uh, which have a large audience, whether it's organized by the government or by other bodies. Earlier, uh, we already announced that the <coughs> uh, international uh, gala show in Western Cultural District and also the Chinese New Year Cup uh, football uh, match will be cancelled. And we also announced that the uh, New Year evening gala meeting will also be cancelled. Then the marathon to be held next month will also be cancelled. Uh, this is not organized by us, but this is with our close support, and it involves uh, 70,000 people, and it's a high-risk uh, situation, and we think that should be avoided. And since the SAL government has to uh, devote full attention to fight the disease, now the various uh, 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 New Year uh, festival, festival uh, gatherings, uh, including those uh, uh, organized by me and the other members of the government, will be uh, cancelled. And we will pay uh, close factors to whether uh, there will be a large congregation of people, whether there is a risk of cross-infection, and uh, if uh, there is a uh, we will also consider whether the uh, organizing uh, body has the ability to trace the persons who participate. 
measure of recent concern is about our students. Today we announced that we will uh, postpone the uh, resumption of classes uh, by kindergartens, primary schools, secondary schools, uh, and up to uh, that will be postponed to 17th of February, and we will further assess as necessary because so many students will be going to school, a high risk of infection uh, may be. Uh, threatening. And then this, uh, later the Secretary for Education will inform you about the arrangements for the students during this period. Now, the longer holiday is not for the students uh, to frolic. Uh, they shouldn't go out that often. They should try to stay at home as much as possible. And also we will ask the tertiary institutions to take uh, adequate preventive measures, now especially where there are host, uh, uh, hostels uh, for, at the universities. I know that the universities have taken preventive measures and we will remind them to step up the measures. Fourthly, uh, that's about social welfare facilities, whether it's in care homes or daycare centers, uh, or, uh, resident uh, day centers. Uh, we feel that these centers uh, need not be closed right now because many disadvantaged uh, groups will have to make use of these facilities. Now, the SWD has uh, written to these uh, organizations that provide these homes uh, and centers and we provide them with additional resources, and we uh, remind them to step up the cleaning uh, of the facilities and to remind them that there should be uh, body temperature tests uh, for the uh, residential uh, staff, the uh, residents, as well as visitors. And then the next measure is that for different government departments uh, with uh, public facilities under them, uh, for instance, the uh, public wet markets of the FEHD, uh, the LCSD libraries, uh, playgrounds and swimming pools, uh, there will be uh, more frequent uh, disinfections, uh, and uh, especially where uh, public uh, take escalators, uh, we will uh, do the necessary cleaning, and especially for the children's facilities, uh, uh, the, um, um, uh, where the children might uh, get into health risks. Uh, now we will remind the uh, airport authority, the uh, bus operators, and uh, private property management companies to step up uh, preventive measures. And we will uh, urge the public to take action to step up their personal hygiene. Uh, all members of the public should pay close heed to personal hygiene. The Department of Health has issued many guidelines, and uh, later uh, Professor Chen and uh, Dr. Chen will give you more guidance. Now, I know members of, uh, of the public are concerned about the supply of uh, face masks or surgical masks that you are all wearing. Now, the SAL government will take uh, further initiative to increase the supply of uh, surgical masks, and it's not just for uh, the public uh, or institutions. Uh, we also will try to increase the supply uh, that can be available uh, for sale to the public. The Chief Secretary of, of Administration, I believe yesterday, together with the Secretary for Health, uh, has uh, met with the main uh, surgical mask suppliers in Hong Kong to understand the supply situation. Now, we understand that recently there has been a strong increase in demand for these uh, face masks, and there has been a shortage. Uh, the suppliers try to increase the supply, but uh, because uh, there are some factories uh, manufacturing these uh, surgical masks are, that are on vacation during the New Year period, uh, this supply uh, will be short uh, temporarily. 
and it's agreed that uh, we will work together with the manufacturers uh, so that we can resume a steady supply within a short time to meet the market's demand. With the support of the ASEAN government, the suppliers will try to locate suitable sources from the mainland and from abroad. Uh, the SEL government will try to provide all possible assistance so that we can resume a, an adequate and stable supply. Now, the mainland is still. So, there the you have it, the chief source. executive of Hong Kong, Carrie Lam, holding a press bulletin at the moment, informing the press of a host of measures that the Hong Kong government has currently adopted. She spoke about electronic screening to be implemented at various locations, including train stations, because that was one constant pressure being put on the government. Um, Shenzhen and Zhuhai will, of course, be prioritized during this electronic screening. Penalty for lying about health condition will also be imposed on the people of Hong Kong. The body temperature will be tested. To These con tests will be conducted for people who will be coming into Hong Kong and leaving Hong Kong. There will be more updates being closely monitored. And, of course, visits to the mainland will be suspended in a bit and with that it's a wrap of this newscast thank you so much for watching news and updates continue on world as well